There comes a time where you want to resize your illustration objects and selections. You can usually do that with the selection tool. If you click on your selection, I have this whole selection grouped together, um, and usually my selection tool will allow me to resize it. If it doesn't allow you to resize it, like mine currently is not, you can go down to view and show bounding box and it will have this bounding box around it which will allow you to resize or reshape your objects. Um, I'm going to hit edit undo that is command Z throughout the video to, to undo what I'm doing um, so I can get back to normal. Um, but as you see with my selection, direct selection tool I, or regular selection tool I can grab a corner of this bounding box, scale it down, undo, or grab the top, scale it down, or grab a side, scale it down. So I can do a lot with that tool. I can also um, rotate it as I hover my mouse around. My mouse will change to be curved, like so, and I can rotate it. So instead of going up to object, transform, and rotating, or moving, or reflecting, or scaling, I can use a do a lot of that manually with this tool. But I can't do quite everything. That's where the transform, or free transform tool, rather, comes in handy. It's about halfway down. Now it will do the same things. Grab a corner, you can scale it down. Grab the top, it will scale it down, um, and so on. Now, when I'm scaling it down with either tool, I usually want to keep it proportional. So I'm going to hold down the Shift key, and if I hold down the Shift key, it keeps everything proportional. It doesn't skew it, it doesn't squish it. Now, if I don't hold down the Shift key, then I run the risk of my object getting skewed or out of shape. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to hit undo. I'll hold the shift key down and it it will scale it proportionally. With either tool that works. If I hold the shift key down and the option key down, it scales it from the center out. So that's that shift key and the option key both working together. If I hold just the option key down, it will allow me to squish it and scale it however I want. I can even flip it. Um, it, but it works from the center out. So I'm going to undo that. Um, that's holding the option key down. So the option key scales from the center. Shift key keeps it proportional. Now if I hold down the command key, it really doesn't do anything. And if I hold down the option key, it does the same thing as what it did before. Um, this next part is um, a little bit of a trick. You have to hold down a few keys in order and you got to hit this from the right area. So I'm going to I'm going to grab this from the side and I'm going to um, scale it from the right side with my arrows pointing right to left or left to right. Pointing left to right or right to left, I'm going to click and start dragging and it just scales it down vertically. Now I'm going to hold down the option key and it works from center out. And now I'm going to hold down the command key. Now you see when I hold down the command key, I have to hit those keys in order, but it allows me to scale it on a plane. So it allows me to adjust the angle or perspective of that design. So let me do that one more time. First your mouse has to look um, like that, like this. I can do it on this side too. Click and I can start dragging. Hold down the option key, hold down the command key, and now I can adjust it. Um, just the perspective of the design. Step further, I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to go up to the top corner and grab my design from the top corner with my mouse pointed diagonally, like it is there. And I'm going to hold down the option key now and start dragging, and now I'm going to press the command key, and you see that it does something a little different. It adjusts the perspective in a slightly different manner. So, depending on your design and how you need that to look, you might have to move your mouse to the top right or top left, um, hold down the option key, start dragging, then hold down the command key. doesn't work unless you start dragging, hold the option key, start dragging, and then hold the command key. Command key is a control key on a PC. Sorry, I didn't clarify that earlier. Um, one last trick. This is a complicated tool when it comes to keyboard shortcuts, and I'm sorry for that, but that's the way it is. I'm going to start in the top left corner with my mouse pointed diagonally, and I'm going to hold down the shift key and start dragging. Then I'm going to hold down the option key, 
and it starts dragging from the center in. Now I'm going to hold down the command key and it does something completely new, gives me a different perspective to my design. So once again, that is holding down shift key, now option key, now command key. On a PC that would be shift key, option key, control key. So three different keys you got to hold down to get that to work. Now depending on how you want that to look, you might have to go to a different corner. Sh shift key, command key, option key, and from the bottom, shift key, command key, option key, that's going to skew it that way. Now from the side, one last shot, shift key, command, excuse me, option key, now command key, and I skew it again sideways. So three different ways to do that by adjusting the way you hold down the keys on your keyboard as you use the free transform tool.